YouTube. Murray Mayhem here. <clears throat> going to be kind of an update uh, as to what's going on. I was uh, on one of the lawnmower channels, uh, the mudmower channels, and I think it was main mudmower. And uh, there was a discussion, and I can't remember who uh, started it or posted it, but it was about a broken battery terminal. I thought, well, you know, that's pretty good. Um, batteries... Um, are in that range thirty to forty dollars to where they're not terribly expensive but you might not have the money to do it so I was thinking how can you do it and some people had posted some good ideas and I was thinking of one of them as well and this is what I would do so we're gonna get to it more to come okay guys here we have a regular 230 cold cranking amp lawnmower battery sealed battery too and we're going to figure out a way to repair or replace one of these lead posts this is a lead acid battery it generates hydrogen and it's full of sulfuric acid so got to be careful uh, doing this what I would do is I would take the battery and swap it out and just suck it up and buy a new one. But if you couldn't, if you couldn't, if you had to do something, this is what I would do. First, we got to break the battery. More to come. Okay, guys, and before we do anything, I'm going to show you leather gloves. These are goggles, and these are more wraparound for uh, splash protection. I got a fan going. So, if you're going to do something, try to be safe when you're doing it. Now, just going to grab a pair of pliers. More to come, guys. Now we got a broke battery. So, well now we got to fix it. More to come. Okay, guys, now, the battery is broken. I've taken off my gloves because I'm not going to be doing much with the battery for the moment. Replacement terminal. You can get them at most any auto parts store. We're going to drill and tap that. Put that in there, and we got a good battery ready to go. So, what I am going to do, and I'm going to show you uh, my thoughts on doing this, even though it's a sealed battery, it's going to vent hydrogen gas as a waste to drill. I'm going to use a drill, right? You get a lot of sparks from this. You'll look inside it and you'll see it spinning around and arcing. I'm going to wrap this drill up in a cloth. The fan's going above me. I'm going to drill into it. I'm going to mark my depth so I don't go too far. And we're just going to go into it. And all the while, I'll be wearing my gloves and my goggles.